this is JJ with Electroharmonics and this is the B9 organ machine. And what this pedal does is you plug in your guitar and what comes out is the sound of an organ. Now the first two things I'd like to talk about that makes guitars and organs sound essentially different are attack and sustain. When you pluck the strings on a guitar, the attack, the start of the note, is always the loudest part and after that it's going to decay pretty fast. That is also the reason why overdrive, distortion and fuzz have been so popular with guitar players because they give you uh, a different kind of attack but also of course lots of sustain. Now when you play the keys on an organ, the attack will pretty much sound the same as a second later. Also, the note is going to last as long as you press the keys, so it's going to sustain for as long as you hold the keys. Now what you'll notice when you play the B9 with your guitar is when you pluck the strings, the attack is going to be more organ-like of course, but also the notes are going to sustain for as long as you hold on to the notes until you mute it. Okay, so attack and sustain, but that's not all of course. Let's talk about draw bars for a bit. If you've ever taken a closer look at an electronic organ, like a Hammond organ, you will have noticed that they have draw bars on them. Those are the sliders on top of the organ. And what these do, they are basically volume controls for all sorts of different notes with different pitches. So a lot of combinations are possible. You have an 8 foot draw bar, 4 foot, 2 foot, 16 foot draw bar. Those are all octaves and then you have some harmonics in between too. So different draw bar settings result in different sounds and there are many many combinations. So a typical electronic organ sound is also made up uh, out of octaves and different harmonies in between. Which explains why players have been using our POG series of pedals in the past to uh, do the organ thing. But now of course we have the B9 for that. Old Hammond organs had a pretty loud click when you would hit the keys, so the Hammond organ company at some point decided to eliminate that problem by removing the click in later versions, but players had really grown to love that sound because of its percussiveness, so that is why they reintroduced it later on. On the B9 organ machine you will also find a dial called click to dial in some of that percussive click or dial it out if you want to smoothen out the sound. Now another essential ingredient of rock organ tone is the sound of a Leslie speaker. You know the big wooden cabinets that organ players have? Those are Leslie speaker cabinets. And what's inside are a speaker facing down into a rotating drum and two rotating horns. And they rotate at different speeds creating a Doppler effect, which sounds very swirly. Now on the organ itself is a switch for two speeds. Choral, which is the slow speed, sounds very much like a chorus effect. And tremolo which is the faster setting and that is the fast rotating speaker sound that we all know and love. On the B9 you will also find a dial called mod for you to dial in that modulation effect. <laughs> Thank you.
One of my favorite keyboard sounds in popular music is the sound of the Kani, the Vox Continental organ introduced in 1962. It was supposed to be a more lightweight, more compact alternative to a Hammond organ, but in fact it sounds entirely different. Uh, it sounds much thinner, pretty breathy, and has very funky modulation built in. It's the sound you know from the doors, and I'm a believer from the monkeys. And you will also find this sound in the B9 organ machine on the Continental setting. <laughs> Now the B9 is not just for rock and pop organ sounds, but you can get more adventurous tones by exploring the cathedral, the octaves or the bell organ settings. And also being able to blend in your guitar's dry signal or even sending the organ signal to a different amp altogether makes for much more tonal possibilities and interesting arrangements. Finally, I'd like to uh, point out that the mod dial has some very interesting effects uh, in there depending on which uh, organ setting you are on, so you can really be lost for days with this thing. <laughs> So there you have it, the B9 organ machine, and this pedal has been turning a lot of heads and with good reason. For more information, go to ehx.com. Signing off, JJ out.